Back when I was 10 or 12 or something like that, I ended up with this cheap plastic toy car. I guess I played a little rough with it because the remote eventually broke and all I was able to salvage was the circuit board inside of it. As you might notice, the circuit board already has wires soldered to it. And that's because I decided I was going to connect the internals of this remote to something else to make it continue to work. After a little investigation with this circuit board, I found the center contact on each side is connected to ground, and then the two pads on the outside that are pressed down when you turn the lever are connected to pins on this ASIC transmitter chip, I guess, and they're held high by an internal pull-up resistor. When the little metal bridge piece that was put over these and pressed by the control lever on the remote pushed down, it would make contact with the other pad and pull it down, and that would send the signal. Realistically, all I really needed to do to fix the remote was do something like this on the breadboard. Give it power and then four buttons that control the different signals. And I never really played with this much after the remote broke because these buttons were all just very fiddly and I, not ergonomic. And then today it finally dawned on me I have a PlayStation controller. Why can't I just use that? The final solution I came up with is extremely simple. It's just an ESP32 microcontroller that sends signals through these wires to the remote board and connects to the PlayStation controller via Bluetooth. And everything else is implemented in software. The library I found for the ESP32 is called uh, BluePad32. And the uh, guy who wrote it has done a very good job of implementing one-touch pairing. So all I had to do was turn these both on, and they automatically connected. And once I had that figured out, it was just a matter of translating all the different inputs on the controller to the four outputs on the remote. I chose to do it just like the original remote did, with the up and down on the left stick controlling the forward and backward, and the right and left on the right stick controlling the steering. And it works really well. Except for the part about the car getting stuck in the carpet, of course.